of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. boys and girls. I'm sure you recognize that sound you just heard. In fact, you can still hear it a little bit, I guess. It's thunder. And you know what that means. Rain. Well, rain has a great deal to do with the adventure we're going to tell you about today. Rain and what happened after. As you know, I'm a forest ranger out here in the West. My job is an interesting one. Sometimes I'm called a natural resources conservationist. <laughs> Those big words just mean I look after the trees, the meadows, and the animals. And my territory is in what people used to call the Wild West. Of course, it isn't too wild anymore, except when nature goes on a rampage, which is exactly what happened in today's story. It seems it rained and rained and rained until... But I see I'm getting ahead of myself. The name of the story is... They Call Him a Coward. Take a look high in trees, fellas. That red-headed woodpecker. Not see too many like this around here. They come up north in early spring. Tap, tap, tap. Boy, we're lucky to have... Gray will take us on these nature hikes. Yeah. Swell getting out of school. Out of a little school building out in the woods. Yeah. Boy, yet it's still part of our school work. Yeah. Gray Wolf knows everything there is to know about the woods. Uh huh. Say, what's the matter? Don't you like the woods? Not especially. You're new in town, I know. Your name's Jerry, isn't it? Yeah. I guess you just moved here. Uh, what's your dad do? He's dead. He died in a big fire. My mother works at the railroad lunchroom. We moved here because she got the job here. Anything else you want to know? No. I, I'm sorry, Jerry. I, I didn't realize Hey, that... boys, look down road. Schoolhouse on fire. Come on, schoolhouse on fire. Wow. Look at that. Look at those flames. Come on, Jerry, let's hurry. We've got to help those kids out of that schoolhouse. Come on, let's run. Good work, boys. Move fast, but don't make children scared. Take their hands, two by two. That's it, two by two. Hey, teacher, all children not safe? Good. Children all okay. Now we just have to let old schoolhouse burn down. <laughs> Henry, good work. A good boy. Keep head, keep cool. Brave. Help keep out little children. Hey, where's Jerry? I ask where Jerry. He not run when I call for help. He not run when you run. He ran all right, but he ran the wrong way. He ran away because he was scared. Well, all I can say is I ain't heard nothing like it in all my born days. Here you have this young feller, almost a man growed, and uh, how old did you say he was? Fifteen. He's in school with me. <laughs> Almost a man growed. And when all them little children was in that there schoolhouse with the flames roaring the region, what'd this here Jerry do? What? He run away. Yeah, I, I uh, know. Worse than that, he run plumb away. Run so far away, he's been gone for three days now. Everybody's out hunting uphill down well, I there. I just hope that he's all right, that's all. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Cover just about every possible place to look for. Hey, Stumpy. Huh? What? That big packing box over there by the wall. Looks as if... Let's go over there. No, sooner said than done. Over we go. And here we are. 
I'll just bend down, take a good look inside this here packing box, and see if I can... <laughs> well, comb my whiskers and call me a dude if it ain't. Uh, it's Jerry. <laughs> Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, we'll give you some more in a little while. I guess you didn't have too much to eat for three days. No. Jerry, Bill, and the sheriff and some other good folks have asked me to talk to you. Well, I'm what they call a psychiatrist. I'm a doctor, except I don't treat you for stomach aches. I'm here to help you when you're worried or unhappy or scared. Well, what I'd like to do, with your permission is sort of talk things over with you from time to time. I think maybe we can work things out so you won't be, well, so quick to get away from things. And Bill and Henry and Grey Wolf and Stumpy are all ready to help you do this. In fact, well, they've invited you to go out and stay with them for a while. And in that way, all of us can help to make things better, as far as you are concerned. Uh, does that sound like a good idea to you, Jerry? If you say so. Oh, good. As a matter of fact, uh, they're waiting for you right now. Let's let's go out there right this minute. My car's outside, and we can just. That's the first time, the very first time I ever played it. Uh, what's the matter? Don't you especially hanker after harmonica music? Well, I... oh. uh, Well, uh, we come out here today to study and observe the critters of the forest. Uh, we can just uh, forget about the music. All right. Uh, now then, uh, let's get on with our bird watching. Uh, maybe I better explain. I ain't uh, exactly as technical as Grey Wolf, but, uh, um, uh, now you take that there bird sitting up there in that there tree up there. Uh, you see her? Sure. Now, uh, you might think that there bird was a robin, but she ain't, Jerry. No, sir, she ain't. Mm -hmm. That there bird is a South American uh, willy wallopus. <laughs> Funny thing about them uh, South American willy wallopus is uh, they fly backwards. Oh. Yep. The South American willy wallopus flies backwards because it don't care where it's going, but it likes to see where it's been. <laughs> I heard that one before. Yeah, maybe so, maybe so. Yeah, I just thought maybe some little foolish man like that might cheer you up a little. Why, uh, all of us, Bill, Grey Wolf, and Henry, we, we all been trying to get you to, I know. to feel a little... It's no use. I don't belong here. I don't belong anywhere, I guess. I'm just scared of... of everything. No, nonsense. Why, Jerry, you're every single bit just as... Uh... Hey, oh, look at there. Cute little rascal. <laughs> look at him. Sending himself, giving us a once-over. All curled up there and just enjoying life as pretty uh, as can be. Uh, uh -oh. uh oh There he goes. Jumping over fences, running away for dear life, scared most to death, running away, running away from a tiny baby, cute little harmless innocent garter snake. <laughs> oh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. We ride plenty slow, Jerry. These good horses. Anyway, I tell you what to do. Yes. Horse smart. Horse know when rider is, well, when rider is new rider. Like me. Your whole reins easy, not tight. This horse Indian train. Everybody ride Indian horse gets to be a good rider. Now sit up straight. Now I show you how we go to the left. You press horse side with left knee. Turn wrist a little bit to the left. There, see? Easy. Now you turn wrist straight. Don't press with knee, see? 
Now we go straight. Of course, no. You make good rider, Jerry. Two or three lessons, you beat me. <laughs> I learned to ride when I was five years old. No saddle. My father lift me on pony's back. Show me to ride same way I show you. Everybody learned to ride out here in the West. You like it? I'm no good at it. Oh, I teach you. Now we stop. You do what I do. Pull back on rain, slow and easy. No need to say anything. Now. See? <laughs> easy. Now, when we start, you move hand forward a little bit. And talk horse talk. Horse talk? Sure, like this. <laughs> See? Now I show you what to do to make horse gallop. Well, first you... No, no, Grey Wolf. Please, let me off. Let me get off and walk home. Please, Grey Wolf. Horses scare me. I want to get off and walk. I'm scared. Her is hot. We need the rain. We'll be there in a minute or two. Henry, I don't think Jerry, I want... I can't even hear you, boy. We walked about a mile and a half on a broiling hot day just to go swimming. We got our swimming trunks on. So when we get to the water, all we have to do is just jump in and cool off. But, Henry... <laughs> you can swim, can't you? Yeah. Well, then, <laughs> there's the old swimming hole. Just like the pictures in the books. <laughs> it doesn't look good, though. I don't think I... Well, there goes nothing. <laughs> That water's fun. It's just right to like it. I've swam, sw swam here a million times. In fact, Bill taught me how to swim right here. Hey, hey, st still out of the bank? Yeah, I thought you were. Hey, we could. Hey, Jerry! Jerry, come back! Jerry! There, Jerry, is one of the finest views in the whole world. <laughs> That's what I always say. Three states. How, how high are we? Oh, not so very high. Uh, three, four thousand feet. Uh, first time I brought Henry up here when he was a little shaver, he wouldn't believe we were looking at three states. He thought they should have been different colors, like on the map. Uh, I see. Well, time to start back. Uh oh What's wrong? Oh, uh... Nothing to get startled about, Jerry. It's just that I haven't been watching the times. A lot later than I thought. Practically dusk now. By the time we get down to the timber line there, it'll be dark. Uh, pitch dark. Do, do you know the way home? Sure. Blindfolded. Well, let's get started, huh? Now, you beginning to enjoy life out here in the West? Uh, having fun, I mean? I don't know. I'd like to see you have a good time. We'd uh, like to have you with us, Jerry. Why? Well, because uh, we like you, that's why. How can you? How can we what? How can you like a person that's, that's afraid of everything? It seems the older I get, the more of a scaredy cat I get. I know what you and Stumpy and Grey Wolf and Henry are trying to do. You're trying to help me learn how not to be scared of, of things. But no matter what you do, no matter what you do... Uh, we like you, Jerry, and that means we're going to keep on liking you. And if you'll just... Bill! Huh? Oh, a great horned owl. Yeah, watch him fly. Not a sound, see? Comes drifting along out of those trees just like a shadow. Quietest fly in the world. Wonderful sight, old Mr. Owl. Bill, it's dark under those trees. I don't like the dark, especially in the woods. I wish we were back home. I wish we were back home. Uh, time to climb into the hay. Uh, this year hot weather gets a feller all discombobulated. Hope she ain't too hot to sleep. I'm tired. Oh, me too. How about you, Grey Wolf? Uh, I'm always ready for bed when time come. Go to bed early, get up early. That's my mind. <laughs> Me too. How about you, Bill? <laughs> sure enough. 
Uh, Gray Wolf, have you taken a look at the barometer on the porch? Yes, uh, not good. No oh, good what? Well, that barometer drop. <laughs> Did you bust it? The way you dropped it, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no. Big rain come, I think. Yeah, I agree. Big bad rain, or else I miss my guess. Well, uh, everybody accounted for before we aim for bed. Where's Jerry? Asleep. I just looked in on him a minute ago. There he was, sound asleep. Sound asleep. <laughs> no, no. I'm afraid, I tell you. Can't you understand? Why, Jerry, that there's just a teeny weeny little bit of a baby garter snake, gentle as a daisy, wouldn't hurt a flea. But I'm afraid of snakes. All kinds. Don't make me go near it. I hate snakes. I don't like to get near them. No. Now we know, of course, Gallop. This good horse, easy to ride. Just kick back heels and horse go fast, 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 fast. Horses are so big. I'm scared when they come close to me. I don't like to get on them. They go so fast, they're so big. Hey, you just jump in while I jump in. Water's not so deep. What a lights of fun. Swimming's fun. And you dive when I count three now. It's easy to swim. It's fun to swim. All boys like to swim. Like to swim. No, no, not me. Water makes me shiver. I can swim. I don't want to. I don't want to swim because I get frightened. Now we'll go through these dark woods, Jerry. Nothing to be afraid of in the wood at night. Dark woods are friendly places. Here we go into the dark woods. Into the dark woods. Into the dark woods. No! I get scared of the dark. There's a little teeny weeny garter snake. Now we make horse go faster. This good horse. Let's swim this afternoon. Swim is fun. Swim is lots of fun. Now we'll walk through the dark woods. The woods are friendly places. The woods are friendly No, days. no, I'm afraid. I tell you, I'm afraid. I'm scared. It sure is raining. Equinoctial rain. Uh, equi what you will? Oh, Look at it, will you? Yeah. Uh, Jerry, showing any progress, do you think? Hmm. Poor fellow, he tried and tried all of us, but nothing seems to help. Dr. Grant, that psychiatrist, he's tried, but even he seems can't... Seems like we've tried everything. No, Henry, not everything. I begin to think we started in the wrong way. There's one thing we haven't tried, and maybe that's what we should have started with. In fact, I think the very next thing to do is... Hey, hey, emergency signal on the state radio. I'll get it. Bill here, okay to go ahead, over. Bill, big trouble. The river has risen over the bottomlands, still rising. All inhabitants of the area evacuated except one house. A house at confluence of river and bitter creek. Hey, I know that house. I Parents injured trying to rescue their two small children. Parents in hospital now. Children still marooned in house. Surrounded by flood water. Need help. Urgent. Repeat. Urgent. Over. Okay, Cal. We'll get those children out over and out. You heard all that, fellas. Now let's get ready, all of us. It's dark. We'll need flashlights. Grey Wolf, you get the horses ready. With all the flood water, we can't use the jeep. Henry, get several coils of rope. Stumpy, get heavy gloves and the snake bite kits. With those bottomlands flooded every bush will have a rattler or a cottonmouth in it. Okay. Oh, Bill. Hey, what about Jerry? He'd better stay here. We'll be fighting snakes and horses and water and darkness. He's afraid of all of them. Now, let Jerry stay here. No. Jerry! I heard what you said. It's true. I am afraid of all those things. But I'm more afraid to stay here all by myself. So I'm going with you. Can't be very far now. Right around this bend, I think. Well, it's hard to see her in the dark. You all right, Jerry? I'm all right. Good. Ah, huh? water gets any deeper, the horse will have to swim. Hey, hey try not to let your horse brush against those tree branches. The bell says... I that... know. Right, the ground's rising. Yeah, <laughs> we're up on higher ground. <laughs> it's almost ran into Bill, the rest of them. Hey, what are we stopping for? Well, this is as far as we can go with the horses. From here, the land dips down into the bottom. Hey, house over there. hundred yards, maybe. Light and window of house. Children still there. Yeah, 
Look at them billows of raging water twixt us and them. What are we going to do now, Bill? We'll inflate the life raft. Spread it out and get it ready, Grey Wolf. I do. Then we'll each take poles or a paddle and let the current take us down to the house. Once we get there, we'll get the two youngsters out, then let the current take us to where we can touch solid ground again. That's a good idea. Rubber boat all spread out. All right. Uh, puncture the compressed air capsule. There, boat ready. Good. I figure it'll take all of us poling and paddling to guide the boat. All of us, that is, except... Uh, uh, Stumpy, you and Grey Wolf and Henry climb in and get set. Okay. All right, All right. Uh, Jerry, you stay here and mind the horses. We'll be back before too long. Uh, Jerry? Yes, Bill. All right, Bill. Good. I'll, I'll get in here. Everybody ready now? Okay, All Bill. Set. Remember, keep aiming for the house. All right. I'll shovel. There. Now, now keep paddling and pulling all the time. See you later, Jerry. Just about halfway there. Hard to see in the dark. Good thing is, I left that lamp in the window. You can steer by it just dandy. I think we're just about in time, Bill. Rain coming down harder than ever. Yeah, it reminds me of the time that... Oh! And this here current's getting mine swift. Yeah, it's about all that I can... Well, the snag up ahead. I can see it under the water. Steer the left. To the left. Careful, careful. It's no use. We're going to oh, slam oh, right oh. into it. Get ready for trouble. Okay. Hang on. Oh. Okay. Uh, snag punctured the boat. Some... Quick, grab onto the branch of this oak tree. Oh, Henry, I got onto the tree, Bill. Stumpy. Hey, get the hold. Here I be out the tree. Gray wolf. Uh, I act like otter, not wolf. Grab tree, all right. Uh, Good. All safe so far. What do we do now? Only an expert, strong swimmer can make a go of it in this current. That rolls me out. Hey, no, the aquatical champion. You know that, Bill. Grey Wolf, land animal, not water animal. Swim okay, but I go swim good. You good swimmer, Bill. I was. When I got pitched out of that boat, I tying my arm somehow. I don't think it's broken. Right now it's numb. Oh, you so spoiled, uh, terrible. Can, uh, can you hang out of the tree okay, Bill? Oh, sure. It only takes one arm for that. I'm sure I'm not going to be any good for much else. Uh, at least hang out of the branches of this tree. <laughs> Like a parcel of monkeys. Uh, we're all right. Yeah. But let's not help two little ones in the house. Yeah. Do, do we have those long ropes we brought with us? Oh, I think they sank when that boat went down. Uh, or else maybe we're not break. Yeah. We're helpless. There isn't a single thing that, that we could do. <laughs> tree, move a few inches. Uh, yeah. That fast current, it's gradually uprooting this tree. What are we going to do? Yeah, just hang on, son. Just hang on. Maybe she'll hold. Maybe she won't. Only thing we can do now. Uh, Anyway, Jerry's all right. I don't think he can see us. He doesn't even know we're in trouble. I seen him, just for his hip, in that there flash of lightning. He looked like he's kneeling down. Kneeling? Yep. Of course, I only seen him for a second, you might say. Bill, the tree's uh, moving again. It's tearing loose. I know. I know, Henry. What do we do, Bill? What do we do now? Just wait. Just hang on. Oh, wait and hang on. Harry! Now, don't worry about me. I suppose I should have told you. I, I can really swim okay. I got medals and junk to prove it. Now then, Bill. Here. I, I got a coil of rope here. Tied around my waist. Just a second. What? I, I, it was tied to the pommel of one of the saddles. Bill, fasten one end of this rope around me. It, 
lightning on my arms. Ray Wolf. Good, I, I do. Right. Now, while you're doing that, I'll pass this whole coil of rope twice around this big branch. You finished, Gray Wolf? Yeah, I threw. Not too tight. No, that's just right. You take the coil of rope. As I swim toward the house, you pay it out gradually. In this current, we don't want to have too much slack. Jerry, are you sure that you can... I'm sure, Bill. I'm going to swim down to that house and get those kids. When I jerk twice on the rope, you'll pull me back. But, okay. Jerry... You ready, Gray Wolf? Yes, but I... Okay, I... here I go. You'll be ready with the rope. Pull on! Right. There he goes. The rope a lot fast. Current taking him fast. He's a good swimmer. Swim like otter, best I ever... Hey. Huh? Watch out! Rope goes flat. Too dark to see what happened. Do, do you think he... Yeah, Jerry, you think Two jerks on rope. Now I pull. Oh, I wish I could see him. <laughs> Out there, all that black water. Funny, hard pull. Rope. Must be a heavy weight on Hey, I can see him. I can... Yeah? Keep pulling, Ray yeah, Wolf. Keep pulling. Pull. 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 There he is. And it looks as if he... Yes. I'm in. I got a little kid on each arm. What? Here, Stumpy. Will you take one? Sure, we are. And I must tell you that... Henry, you take the other one. Right here. Oh, they're both okay. They're the best little kids I ever saw. Grey Wolf. Please listen. I'm yeah. going to swim to the shore, to the high ground where the horses are. What? I'll keep the rope around my waist. Uh. And when I get there, when I get on shore, I'll fasten my end of the rope to saddle horns of a couple of saddles. In the meantime, you tie yourselves to this end of the rope. I do. Then what, Jerry? When I give the signal, two jerks on the rope, just like before. I'll start the horses, and we'll have you hauled out of here in about one minute flat. How do you know which way to swim? All I've got to do is keep upstream. Get shallow pretty soon. And besides, when the horses hear me, they'll whinny. I'll make it, Bill. You'll see. Jerry, I, I don't know how we can ever... Oh, I'll, I'll get my breath back. Here I go. So long. See you on the bank. A couple of shakes from a lamb's tail. Well, there he goes. There he goes. The boy was afraid of everything. The boy we called a cow. Best picnic I ever went to. I'm glad you'd come along, Doctor. You want to go swimming with us later? Yeah. And Jerry's teaching me how to dive. Boy, is he good. <laughs> I swim like a rock, but I'll go along. Uh, Jerry, how did all this happen? Well, I, well, one day I happened to find a book in Henry's bookcase. I just started reading it. And it seemed like I just couldn't stop reading. I see. Well, what was that book, Jerry? It's this book, this one right here. I carry it with me all the time. My pocket. Here. The Bible? Yes, sir. The Bible has been used to change many young lives, even more radical changes than Jerry. The Bible introduces you to the God who created you, and once you've met him and allowed him to explain a few things to you, your life is changed. I hope you already know this. Well, see you next week for more adventure with...